My name's Mike, and today we're gonna review four different flavors of Chameleon Cold Brew. Now, 74% of Latinos in the US drink coffee daily. Do we have a problem? Probably. I'm gonna start with Mexican cold brew because of my heritage. I'm half Mexican, half Cuban, and I'm gonna use a Cuban tacita to drink out of that was my grandma's. First thing I'm gonna go with smell. Very cinnamony, really, really nice smell. Very nice. It's not super strong. It's kind of light, refreshing. I could enjoy, put on ice maybe, put a little bit of cream maybe. Got like a lot of cinnamon. I can even see the cinnamon in here. I mean, it tastes really good, looks good. This is for the person who's looking for something refreshing. So would I buy the Mexican coffee cold brew again? Yes, I would. I would probably buy it once every two weeks. So this is gonna be the black coffee flavor of Chameleon Cold Brew. Now if you don't know, 30 to 40% of the world consumes coffee daily. I'm one of those. And about 65% of the US consumes it daily as well. I'm not getting a lot of smell from this one. It's kind of like regular black coffee. So they labeled it correctly, it's actually zero sugar. So would I buy the black coffee again? It's a little bit too light for me, a little too watery. I like a little bit more boldness. Next one is vanilla coffee, vainilla. Now 74% of Latinos in the US drink coffee daily. So do we have a problem? Probably. Now this one has vanilla and it's got seven grams of sugar. Okay. So it's got a really strong vanilla smell. The flavor is very vanilla-y, very. Put this on ice and maybe add a little bit of milk to it just to kind of take away that vanilla flavor. But it's, it's a nice taste, it's enjoyable. Next up is espresso coffee. I'm guessing this is gonna be bold, strong, and I'm guessing that I'm gonna like it. I did wanna mention that these coffees were recommended to me by my wife, registered dietitian. Love that pop. And she recommended them because they're organic and they come in glass, which most cold brew you'll notice comes in plastic. So let's give this one a shot. We grew up drinking out of these. It's meant to just have a little bit because with Cuban coffee is straight espresso with a little bit of sugar or a lot of sugar. And we usually grew up drinking that when we were playing dominoes. So it was like, hey guys, we're playing dominoes. Make some Cuban coffee. No sweetness to it, zero sugar, but it's definitely like a stronger flavor than the just black coffee. I'm definitely getting more an espresso vibe. I would dress this up with some ice and a little bit of milk. So would I buy this one again? Well, I'm serving myself twice, so the answer is yes. I would pick it up maybe once a week. So I definitely would add these to my weekly coffee drinking. But if you guys recommend one, leave it in the comments and stay caffeinated, my friends. 